Back in the U.S., I live in a, on a remote island called Orcas Island and uh, have 10 acres of land. I have a very large shop. I then manipulate the metal into whatever shapes they are using a variety of tools. I primarily like to work in stainless steel because it's, uh, it's, it's so permanent. I went to work as usual and opened up my email. There's an email from Marco Balic asking if I wanted to design the cauldron for the, for the upcoming games. Needless to say, I was, uh, I was very excited. So the day before I left Rio last fall, I submitted a, an idea that I thought was the most like a son, and there, reaction was immediate and positive and uh, and that's what we have now. I've actually made a lot of sculptures that are powered by motors. Generally though, mine are wind powered. Incorporating the flame is more or less the same as incorporating uh, natural light from the sun. So we settled on a design where the, the flame is separate from the, from the sun but in front of it and the, the light from the flame gets reflected on the disc, the, the mirrored like surfaces of the sculpture. I just hope everyone enjoys it and experiences a moment of grace and silence inside themselves and a, and a wonderment of the joy of being alive and at the games. people after the games are inspired to try things that they didn't think possible. I hope that it brings people together and people can start appreciating each other no matter what country they're in or what race they are, what religion they're in. I hope it, it just brings mankind closer together.